If you're a fan of retro shmups, then the Darius series needs no introduction. The only thing that would make you more of a fan is if you're genuinely into mech fish. The Darius series has been receiving entries since it first released in arcades in 1986. From arcades to console, this is a game that would be brought up in the same conversations as titles like Life Force and R-Type. Still, the series has been somewhat dormant this past generation, but thanks to the Darius Cosmic Collection, we can spend some time playing shmups from our past. What's even better about this collection is that it combines the international version versions of each title for shmup fans to enjoy. The Darius Cosmic Collection is separated by consoles and arcade releases. Taking a look at the console version, there's plenty for fans to be excited about as they definitely went all out. Playing Darius 2 again, as it was released in each region, provides a nostalgic and learning experience for me. Understanding that slight differences between versions and how they took advantage of the hardware was simply a blast. One inclusion on this console version is Darius Twin and Darius Force. Darius Twin is pretty standard and plays well if you're coming from Darius 2. The game borrows many enemies and power-ups, but it is a standalone experience. Darius Force, on the other hand, is such a weird game and showed how eager the developers were to try something new. The game doesn't flow with the series at all and is pretty challenging, thanks to a few key changes in the options. One feature that gets annoying is how death sends you back to a checkpoint at the beginning of a level. It makes getting through levels tedious, since the game relies heavily on your memorization of the enemy patterns. Two games in the collection that I have never played or even knew existed were Darius Alpha and Plus, developed on the PC Engine. These two titles attempted to bring the arcade experience to PC, but it is pretty dumbed down. Regardless, I enjoyed playing a Darius game that I have never even heard of. The arcade version of Darius Cosmic Collection is where some of the best additions the series has to offer can be found. However, like the console version, you're going to get multiple versions of the same game with slight differences. Still, I couldn't help but love playing the dual screen version of Darius 2 with detailed character sprites and environments. When it comes to the arcade versions, it's good to remember that these titles were meant to take your quarters. Luckily, the developer allows you to answer more credits as you play, so it's never really an issue. When it comes to this arcade collection, I think that Darius Gaiden stands out as its own experience. The game seems to want to impress Bullet Hell fans as it features plenty of on-screen enemies and death traps across its stages. Still, no matter how much it stood out in the arcade collection, I couldn't help but have the most fun with this game overall. Most entries in the Darius series allows players to choose their own path to the ending. When it comes to the console releases, I think the developers toned things down with the bosses and made the levels a bit more forgiving. The stages do get increasingly difficult, but it never feels like they are trying to kill you. Furthermore, each game allows players to collect power-ups for their ship along with armor. Darius is all about the power-ups too. For example, in Darius 2 and Darius Twin, losing a life and respawning can be the end of a run if you don't find power-ups fast. The Darius series also enjoys spawning enemies from both sides of the player, forcing them to prepare for anything. Each ship can drop bombs as well as equip lasers that allow them to cover all sides of them. Bosses also tend to shift sides during a match, which forces players to use the entire screen during gameplay. Luckily, every time you're in battle, there is some great music to jam to no matter which game you are playing. Additional options in Darius Cosmic Collection allows players to fine-tune their pixel experience along with change up the backgrounds. Players can also make a quick save so they can just load a save file from wherever they wish. One option missing is a gallery with scanned manuals and key art to look through and learn more about the history of the series. There's a manual option, but this just leads you to a web page. What players might not enjoy about Darius Cosmic Collection is how many versions of the same game are available. While I appreciate this, having three versions of Darius 2 isn't totally necessary. It makes the collection feel padded, but at the same time, it does make this the definitive collection of the series. However, it is missing G Darius and Darius Burst, which is a shame. Darius Cosmic Collection is a piece of history for shmup fans. The collection includes a full catalog of the series that allows you to experience some titles that weren't easily accessible before this release. While I wish there was more history featured in the collection, it was a blast playing these games again or for the first time. Noisy Pixel is giving Darius Cosmic Collection an 8 out of 10. Thank you for watching. Please read the full review at NoisyPixel.net. NoisyPixel is run by a group of gamers who work hard to deliver news, reviews, previews, and more. Please subscribe to keep up with all our future content.